Hi, in this video I will show you how to direct users to different screens depending on their role. For example, we have an admin user and we want them to access admin console and the regular users who need to go to regular users screen. So I have already created two screens, an admin screen and a user screen. To start implementing this feature, first we need to add a property to users database. So let's add a property and call it is admin uh, and it will be a boolean true true false property so uh, we have two users already uh, erica example com and john example com let's make uh, erica an admin so how redirection should work uh, we will add an interim screen on which we will implement the logic So this is the interim screen. Uh, we put it here. Uh, let, then let's change the buttons. So after login on submit button, we need to go to this interim screen. And after sign up as well. OK. So on this interim screen, uh, we will add two actions. First action will redirect admin users to ad, uh, admin screen. So we, we are adding the action that it is a link to admin screen. However, we make it happen sometimes, only in case when a uh, logged in user is admin is true. And then we add the second action, uh, which uh, is executed after the first one. Uh, if user is not admin, then we link the user to user screen. Okay, so uh, then in the user screen, uh, let's check if uh, the mm, logout button works. So we have a app bar, right icon, logout and link to welcome screen. And uh, for this one as well, we we are able to log out and to go to welcome screen. Also, we need to make the interim screen a home screen so that uh, even for logged in user, checked, uh, the check is uh, performed. So let's make it a home screen. Okay, uh, let's test. Okay, we're on the welcome screen. Uh, we already have an account. Let's log in as John. password login we get to this interim screen and we get to user screen it works correctly okay let's test how it works for admin good and we get to the admin screen but in case of web apps we have a small problem here Let's copy the address string from the uh, browser and open it in the incognito window. Uh, we are not logged in here, but we still can get to the admin screen. So by sending a link to someone, uh, we can access the admin features even without being logged in. And this is not good. So we will protect the admin screen from unauthorized access. Uh, what we, get, we are going to do is to hide the content on the screen if user is not admin. So let's make a group, then let's make this group uh, sometimes visible, and it's visible only if logged in user is admin is true. Okay, so let's restart the app. As you can see, we get to the admin screen, we are admin and that's fine, everything is visible, but if we open once again the incognito window, the content is not shown, so we have protected it from unauthorized access. This is a simple example and it could be expanded. Thanks for watching this video and subscribe to my channel to see more videos later. Thank you.